Hi, my name is Ashley at Court Reserve. Today I'm going to help you with some setup since you are a new Court Reserve client. One of the most important things that you can do in the beginning is set up your memberships. Memberships in Court Reserve are a way to put people, players, humans at your organization in a group so that you can give them certain restrictions, permissions, and if you charge or have court fees or membership fees, you can charge them as well. Now, if you are a homeowners association, you may not charge, so that's okay. We're going to show you that. If you are a tennis or pickleball facility, we're also going to show you a couple different things with that. But this would be one of the first things I would suggest that you do is take the time to watch this video and to set up your memberships because unless the player or the human being at your organization is in your court reserve platform, they will not be able to do anything until they have some sort of membership that you give them. So we go to our membership tab and we have three tabs at the top, individual memberships, family memberships, and then all of the membership settings that we will go over later. So let's talk about families first. If you are a tennis, pickleball, any sort of organization where you have households, meaning that maybe mom and dad is going to sign their kids up for certain things, events, programming classes, or you have spouses that might sign each other up for a court reservation, family memberships is a great idea. This means that they can have one login and sign their family members up for other things in the system. Now, in your court reserve platform, you probably only have one of these memberships here, but you can always go over and click the pencil and you can edit the name of this membership. So I can go in here and add to or edit and change this to anything that is applicable to your organization. So when I click back to memberships, now I've changed the name. You can also add purchase dates, start and end dates, tax and fees, and we'll talk more about that later. So here, again, I mentioned homeowners associations earlier. If you are one of those, you may have a resident and a non-resident. If you are maybe a golf simulator or even a basketball club, you may just have a family membership called Guest because that way your families can still log in, add their family members, and be under one account in your court reserve platform. Let's pop over to individual memberships and take a look at some of the other icons we have as well. You can do prorating memberships um, on any of the memberships within Court Reserve. You can also have prerequisites. So this would mean that in order for the player next summer of 2022 to have this membership, they would have had to have a tennis membership this year. We can also help you do trial memberships. So those would expire so many days after the beginning of the trial. This is great for clubs and organizations who maybe are seasonal or want to encourage people to try out their club for so many days before they join. So let's go in and take a look at the pickleball membership here. Now you can see here we have tax and initiation fee, monthly, quarterly, and yearly. Again, if you are not charging for fees or any kind of membership fees in court reserve, you don't have to worry about this. So let's go in and quickly take a look at what we can do. So on the general tab under a membership, once you create a membership, you of course can come in and name your membership. You can also enter a short code. So this would actually show up on the scheduler. You can give this membership a description. If you want this membership to be active, this box is important. And then again, you can put purchase start and end dates and membership start and end dates. Now be aware that if you do put end dates, especially on membership start, when this member has the end date here set, they will become inactive in the court reserve platform. So if you don't want their membership to end, leave this blank. Let's click on membership price. Requires a fee. There's a couple of settings here, including if you have an initiation fee you'd like to charge. And then you get to put in frequency. How often would you like to charge this member their fee? Is it monthly, quarterly, yearly? This actually gives them the option. If it's a custom price, you can do that here. Or if it's just one time, meaning you're only going to charge them one time ever for this membership, this is the one time price. Now you can read other articles and watch other videos on how to set up tax and revenue categories. But again, what I want to mention is if this is a trial membership, make sure and put in the number of days 
This membership will expire after the trial. If you want to prorate this membership so that it's on the player or the member portal, you can check this box here and finish this out here. Okay, let's go over to portal settings. You will later set up reservation rules, cost, and even booking windows at another um, time. So let's just concentrate on the portal settings tab here. Make sure that if you want this membership as an option for when your potential players or members are joining your club, you make this as public. You can also require payment profiles, payment when booking courts online, and you can also check this box so they don't cancel their membership. Now that that's the basics of setting up membership, once you go in and you set up your memberships, now we need to talk about how are we going to get your players, your members, into the Court Reserve platform. Well, there's two different ways. The first way is you can reach out to our live chat support team and they can send you our import template. Once you get the import template, you can copy and paste these membership names onto that membership template with a good list of first name, last name, email, etc., and any additional columns you would like imported. And you can send that back to us and we'll import that for you. Or the second way, go to settings, scroll all the way down to portal settings, and you can create your own signup form. The signup form means you would actually send your member a link and that link would bring them to your signup form. Once they filled out the required information that you require of them, then you could turn approvals on or off and approve or deny their membership into your organization. Now, sometimes organizations, they will import their current members and then use the self-registration form for future memberships. So you can do that as well. So let's also, while we're here, go over Portal Settings Setup. Once you click on the Setup button, these two links are your unique link into your Court Reserve platform. If we click, right click, and open this link in an incognito window, this is my anonymous or for potential players and club members not logged into the system. So now this is what your potential players could come in, of course, once you customize this and see all of the great reasons they need to join your club. They can also come in and based on your settings, click on pick a membership. They can sign up for a membership that fits what their needs are for their family. And so if we join the pickleball membership, Again, you get to set this up and choose how you would like for them to pay. So if I, as a player or a member, wanted to come in and pay annually, I want to join this plan. Here's that registration form that you've created and all of the questions that you would like for them to answer, including putting a card or e-check on file, as well as answering rating questions and signing off on any disclosures before they join your organization. Once they fill this out, then you can go back to that approval button and approve or deny their request as well. Okay, let's just continue to talk a little bit about your memberships because I wanna show you how important it is to get these set up first. Now, if you have questions about anything, please always feel you can reach out to the live chat support team and we can help you set these up as well. Now, when we talk about membership, this is a group of people that you give certain permissions and restrictions to. So if we go over to events, and we go to an event setup, let's just take a look at this Pickleball Volley Shots class. Remember, events and court reserve are all those great classes, clinics, and camps that you allow your players to sign up for. Now, if you were gonna have this class, at the very bottom, you could come in under event setup and you could charge different groups of people, those memberships you've created, different prices and allow them to do different things. So your club membership may get to register online, but you may require them to pay up front. Your tennis members, well, they may get to start registering two weeks out instead of just one week. So you can see there's a lot of great features around having memberships at your organization. Again, if you're a homeowners association or maybe just a, a club that allows one type of membership and you just need people to be able to go in and register and not have to worry about all this, fantastic. We can help you set that up as well. Now, again, if we go back out to settings, we talked about the permissions and restrictions around these groups of people. So if we go to booking settings and go to general, you can see based on membership types 
that certain membership types in our organization, well, they get to book courts online or book your ball machine. They can book so many days in advance. Setting up your memberships, these groups of people at your organization is super important because everything is around permissions and restrictions in Court Reserve. The next thing I wanna mention is under settings, portal settings, website. Remember, I mentioned a minute ago about the anonymous page. Well, if you click on the home page here, any of these that say anonymous user only, well, that's what those potential players or potential club members would see at your organization in order to sign up for an account. Remember, we were over here and we could pick a membership. Again, this is a great sales and marketing tool for your organization to have your players logged in users only be able to see certain things and then your anonymous or your potential players and members to see something completely different. Again, we have some great tutorial videos that we can help you set this up, but I wanted to mention this as well. Now, before you are ready to go, we want to really take our time with you and teach and train you how to use and how to set up your Court Reserve platform. If you decide to import your members, they are not going to find out about Court Reserve until you send out the welcome email. The welcome email is listed under Members, Other Actions, Welcome Email. Once you have your players imported into the system, then you can come in and send out a customized welcome email so that they can log in and set up their own secure password in order to start using the Court Reserve platform. But again, this welcome email does not go out until your team sends it out. Well, we hope this video has been helpful in order to help you getting started in the Court Reserve platform. Please always know you can reach out to our live chat support team or you can email us at support at courtreserve.com.